Hey guys, and welcome back to West of Loathing. Let's get right into it. Apparently I've done quite a few things wrong. Uh, apparently I've done quite a few things wrong with this. That's why I can't go in. Let's see. Apparently I've done quite a few things wrong with that. That's why they don't allow me in. So, let's go to the sideshow and start from there. Uh, let's see. Looking here makes you sore. And... There. You don't see a reflection at all. Okay, that's one. Uh... Okay, getting rid of the balloon guy is one. Distracting a clown by asking him uh, ask a question about those people and does he ever blink? And then I can have a closer look at this. Okay, clowns, you take the opportunity to get a closer look at the egg. You notice three things about them. First, they're too large to be chicken eggs. You have no idea what eggs they are. Secondly, they have They've all been broken and then very meticulously glued back together. They almost look like they've been reassembled after something hatched out of them. Thirdly, one of the eggs features a pattern of red triangles you recognize. It's the same, same as the clown version of yourself that you saw in the mirror earlier. Quickly step back as the guard clown returns. He gives you a fair amount of side eye but doesn't say anything. Okay. The second inspection involving an electromagnet. Take a closer look. Okay, that's that. Ooh, I have to have horn swoggling. Or outfoxing for the guy. Wear a colorful hat. Plus one each time you examine the clown eggs. About the long pork. Discover the awful secret about the cotton what's the awful secret about the cotton candy uh, what are they made of wait 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 there's something I have to do how much are they hot foot long what are they made of Okay, so, I've already asked that, I think. How do you make it? You vented it? Now I'm really curious. Oh god. Where do I get the colorful hat? Suspicion is also acquired the clown. Where do I find that? No thanks. How do I do that? I, I, I can expose him, but I don't know how. See, outside the tents. How do I expose him? Uh, steal his side... Slide whistle. Oh, I had to buy two cotton candies from him and steal his slide whistle. Ugh, oh, much does it cost? Take one. Alright, then let's see. Let's talk to. I like to see the lost and found. Or nothing. How do I do that? Uh. Oh, I, I drained it all of all the things. That means I can't do that now. Oh, shit. Well, shit. That was a mistake. Oh, well. It's fine. Can I go in yet? Oh, okay. I need to find a way to finish this and get in. Each time, so each time you examine the clown eggs, you get plus one suspicion. So let's see. Inspect the. 
uh, talk to him, ask a question, and does he ever blink? Sure. Oh god, that tears it. These clowns aren't regularly dressed people dressed as of as clowns cause because of some carnival, kind, kind of carnival tradition, these are for real demon clouds, like the one mentioned in old stories. You're basically in a clown hive. This is bad. Real bad. If you figure out that you know about them, real, real bad. Uh-oh. Never mind. Alright, let's see. There should be a clown, like... Destroyed campsite. There should be a clown campsite around here. Not now. Not now, Sally. I need to. F I need to discover this. Let's see. Follow the tracks. Follow the tracks. Let's try again. Investigate. Follow the tracks. Come on, there's got to be something here. I'm almost certain that there's something here. I'm almost certain that there's something here, I just can't find it. Damn it! I'm gonna use you guys to take out my frustrations on! Let's see, how do I find the clown campsite? Choosing to go in the opposite direction? What? What? Okay, wait, 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 there's something here. Let's see, follow the tracks. Go the opposite way. <gasps> Why did I not know that? You head in opposite direction for about half a mile, discover another campsite. This one occupied. You approach the camp cautiously and realize that the campers are rodeo clowns. Uh, let's see. Ugh, well, that's always a mystery, at least. It looks like there's three of them, unless there are more hiding. They don't seem particularly on their guard, so you could probably get drop on them if you want to roll in ambush style. Underhand, plain instant might get you some information. Approach the camp. Do I have the colorful hat? Colorful hat. No, I don't. I don't know where to... Where the fuck do I get this colorful hat? I could have gotten this for free! Oh god, I'm so dumb. I could have fought these guys for free and gotten a ticket! So I could have gotten a. N oh man, really? Howdy. Okay. Comical meat. Not politely, but keeps playing. Ow. Uh, if I fight them, I can get stuff, but there's no point now. Is there? I'll be back later for that. Uh. God, I can't believe I've missed so much here. This is my own fault. I... Mm, there's so much that I've missed here. Now I feel sad. It's kind of like, oh, hey, there was so much that I could have done. But now I don't. Ticket, please. What's that? Boss, this is a show. Yes? Yeah. What kind of show? Knife tricks, mostly. Here's my ticket. Cool. Huh. I guess I guess I'll just sit down and watch this? Is that what's going on here? Oh I wonder if there's like something special about this. Main stage. Okay. Sitting down starts the show. You're supplied dynamite, which I don't need anymore. Okay, let's just have a seat randomly. 
You take a seat, and a smattering of other patrons appear and sit down as well. After a minute or two, there's a crash of cymbals, and a clown runs in from backstage from the backstage curtain, jumps on jumps up onto the stage. In contrast to other cl other clowns' colorful clothing, his is relatively simple: black wool trousers, a bright crimson shirt under a pale tan leather jacket with fringe on the sleeves, and a red heart painted on the shoulder. His face paint is plain white without any colored accent, contrasting his curled black mustache and thin goatee. A snappily silk top, snappy silk top hat with a rakish tilt tops off his tops off his rakish tilt tops off his out. Oh, God. It's like you're trying to read it, but then it's like your mind just thinks punctuation. It's like nope. He doffs, doffs his hat and bows with a deep theatrical flourish, and the small audience claps politely. Thank oh, wow, that is not what I expected from that like description. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, and welcome one and all to Barnaby Bob's perfectly normal traveling circus sideshow. Perfectly normal. I hope you can. You've been enjoying the carnival distractions of, car attractions and distractions of our little traveling cir carnival. Now it's time for our star performance, the main attraction. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for. Large drummer starts his gestures to the curtain, and the cr cymbal crash again. And the cymbals crash again. The clown puts his hat back on with a chuckle. Me, Barney Bob. Applaud. Much obliged. Much obliged. You're far too kind. While well, I haven't even shown you anything yet. With a laugh, he flips a large Bowie knife into the air. You didn't see where he pulled where he pulled it from. You didn't see where he pulled it from. Knife glitters as it spins. He catches it and flips it in the air again. This time, catching it, balancing it on its point on the tip of one finger. He holds that pose very still for a moment and jerks his hand out of the way. The wood funks into the wood. The knife funks into the wood of the stage floor deep enough that he can give it a jerk from side to side before he can yank. That he has to give it a jerk from side to side before he can yank the blade free. He winks broadly at the audience. Wouldn't be any fun if they weren't sharp, wouldn't it, ladies and gents? One single clap. He pulls two more knives from his jacket and begins a flashy and elaborate knife juggling act. Three spinning blades somehow turn to four, then his, then his hat is added into the mix. Um, Floating lightly through the cascade of knives without a single scratch, he finishes the routine by catching two of the knives in each hand and allowing his hat to fall neatly, fall nearly to the ground before catching it on the tip of his boot and kicking it back into the air and onto the top of his head. Applaud. Ah, uh, now there's some applause I believe I've earned. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it takes a lot of hats to get where I am today. Not for you, you're kind of... He's kind of something beyond normal. He's paranormal. He chuckles as he just his hat back to its original rakish tilt. Now for the grand finale. For this, I need a volunteer from the audience. A few hands go up. Barnaby Bob ignores them and looks directly at you. How about you, ma'am? Okay. Okay. Good. I like a brave one. Step right up. Uh, step right up onto the stage here. Your name, please? Kitty Yarp. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, Kitty Justine Yarp. What? How do you know my middle name? A couple clowns haul a wooden panel about f seven feet tall and four feet and four wide onto the stage. They stand it up vertically behind you and standing and stay there, holding it steady. It has two knife holes in it slightly above the waist level and a lot of knife marks. There's two holes in it slightly above the Press your hand back press your back flat up against the wood, please, and put your hand through the holes. You do so. No, the holes are just a fraction too high, so it's not very comfortable. And then one of the clowns pull your arm back tighter and ties them together with rough hemp, so it becomes very much more uncomfortable for a variety of reasons. Don't worry, it's just to make sure you don't make any sudden and unexpected movements. You wouldn't want that, would we? Uh, Frighten that miss, everything's under control. Steps up close to you, adjusts your collar, brushes a little dust off, dust off your shoulders. My control. You know, Kitty, we got. We get a sharp customer through here from time to time, and my my, you're the sharpest I've seen yet. However, I bet a silver shiny, I bet a shiny silver dollar that I got something sh up, something on my sleeve that's even sharper. His pupils narrow into vertical slits as he gl grins at you, revealing a row of pointed yellow shark teeth. As he turns away, you can see that the heart on the shoulder of his leather jacket is drawn with an arrow through it, and the word "mom" doesn't look painted on. Heart on the shoulder of his leather jacket. What? 
You struggle a little, but your hands are too tightly bound. The rough hemp rope digs into your wrist. Barney Bob strolls to the other side of the stage and turns to face you. Now, now, don't you worry. This will all be over soon. Just don't move. He has a knife in his hand. He has his knife in his hand again and gives it a few twirls and flips. Light reflected from the blade glitters in your eye. Then without, f then without warning, he hurls at you. Bunk! The knife hits the wood before you can even blink. A hair's breath from your left ear. Stare him down. Barnaby Bob grins at you as the crowd applauds. Another knife appears in one hand and an apple in the other. Tosses the apple to one of the stagehands who carefully bounces on the top of your head. Time for the old William Tell routine. Bit of cliche, perhaps? But... There's a reason it's a classic, eh, ladies and gentlemen? <sighs> the crowd watches with rapt attention as he flourishes the knife, spinning it and flipping it behind his back. Then faster you can register, thwack, cold apple juice dribbles into your hair, down the back of your neck. Two for two. What do you say, Kitty? Shall we go for one more? Barney Bob pulls out another knife, gives it a quick stropping against the pale leather sleeve of his jacket, Stropping. I'm assuming that he's rubbing it against his... Okay. Ben whips out a colorful colorful spotted handkerchief from his pocket and blindfolds himself. This time his smile is much colder. I advise you to watch closely, Kitty Yarp, because since you're the only one of us who can. The crowd laughs, but you don't really hear it. The knife spins in his hand, this time either because of adrenaline or because he's actually moving slower. You can see the motion of his arm as he throws it, twists his... He twists his wrists in an odd way that you don't, that you don't think he did before. Nice throwing at you. Don't move. Knife incredibly swerves at the last possible moment. Fuck! You can feel the wood shake from the force as it stabs into the board. The metal is cold against your red cheek, right cheek. The audience erupts into cheers as Barnaby Bob removes his, he removes his blind fist. Blindfold, blind fist, and pumps a fist triumphantly. One of the stagehand clowns unties your wrist and helps you get your arm out of the holes. Bob takes your hand and raises it into air victoriously. Well now, ain't she a real sport? Good sport, folks. And the, as brave a target as I've ever had. Take a bow, kitty yarp. Take a bow. You bow to the cheering crowd, carefully remove, keep carefully keeping your eyes on Barney Bob. He bows as well, removing his hat with a labyrinth. Elaborate flourish. Oh god. Oh god. Let's see. Okay, I have to do this perfectly. Okay. He, he bows as well, removing his hat with an elaborate flourish, and then he takes a slip of paper out of it. As a token of appreciation, I like to give her a star of. Volunteer a gift. A year's supply of dynamite. Use it in good health. Hands you the coupon. The clown leans in close to your ear and whispers, This is the only warning you get, girl. You got an item. Coupon for a year's supply of dynamite. Barnaby Bob waves and blows kisses to the crowd as you climb down from the stage. Then he disappears through the backstage curtains. The, gra the audience gradually disperses. Okay. Okay, now this is this is more dangerous. Uh, examine. Knock on the door politely. All right, enter. You open the door and walk into Barnaby Bob's office. He looks up from his desk, surprised to see you. You? Here I thought I made myself cl perfectly clear the last time we met. Yet you not yet. And yet, you knock politely and walk straight into the lion's mouth. You're either extremely brave or extremely extraordinary foolish. Girl, both I might hazard to guess. I got some questions that need I've got some questions that need answered. You think I'm gonna answer them? If I find if I didn't find you amusing, I vanish you off the face of this earth for what little you know already. I appreciate it, but I can't leave the situation unresolved. What curiosity did the cat did to the cat is going to Seem like a Sunday picnic compared to what I'll do to you if you anger me, Missy. Go ahead and ask your questions, but bear in mind I've already given you form fair warning. Uh, not to waste this time. What are you doing here? Straight to the heart of the matter. Well, now I've had I had you pegged as a clever one. Why don't you tell me? Uh.
you hear it because of the cows. Perhaps you got a brain rattling around that skull of yours. After all, girl, it's correct. The cows came home, as you say, and we followed them. Why? Why? Don't disappoint me now that you now that you impressed me, kid. Think about it. Your age old enemy that you've been fighting since time at since time out of mind ups and leaves. No farewell, no postcards. Wouldn't you want to know what the hell was going on? You don't know? Oh dear. Dear oh dear. I've gone and said something I probably shouldn't have. Missy, you're treading on some dangerously thin ice right now. I hope you're thanking your lucky stars. I consider you essentially insignificant. Hmm. I hear those I can hear those gears ticking in that three pound dog's dinner you call a brain, miss. Now it's my turn to ask a question. How are you gonna convince me that I shouldn't make shouldn't make you shouldn't just make you disappear like a fart in tornado? Well, make it good, Kitty Art, make it good, because you got one chance at this. You need me. Do I now? Do I now? Pray what pray tell do I what pray tell do I need you for? My freak show's plenty full. There aren't enough of you to be an army. You're just a scouting party. You're reconnaissance. You here to gather information. Yes, and you can't do that efficiently. Not the way you guys look. You stand out too much. You need a human scout. Don't play games with me, little girl. You're talking to Barnaby Bob, Duke of Hell, and I can make your pers worst personal nightmares look like a choir of softly singing angels. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm serious. Look, I'm not your enemies. I'm not your enemy. The cows are. And if you're after the cows, not humans, then you aren't my enemy either. The enemy of my enemy? Can't imagine we'll ever be friends, Bob. But as long as mutually benef prof mutually profitable, I think we can come to an arrangement. You promise to leave the people of this world alone, and I tell you anything I find out about the cows. Gotta hand it to you, kid. You may well be the first human, to, uh, human being to ever leave old Barnaby Bob speechless. Got a deal? Alright, I, all right, I agree. We won't be making any trouble for the humans. You bring me something interesting. Something you bring me anything interesting? You find about the cows? Hell, if it's good, I might even pay you. Good. You're a smart gal, Kitty Arp. You better be smart enough to know what happens if you double cross me. Mama, Mama didn't raise a fool. Good for her. S shows you the map on his desk. There's a location circled in red, not far from Dirtwater, Mark Tannery. This will get you started. There's old tanneries away south of here. Sent a few scouts there already. Go, go have a look. If you, find any, if you find anything worth seeing, let me know. One thing, you're strictly undercover. I won't be telling my boys about you. Not that I could easily get a message to the ones in the field, anyhow. If you need to defend yourself against them, well, be it. well so be it. Good luck to you. Can I rob you? Safe is warm to the touch. You don't recognize the symbols on the dial. The other half abound on human skin. Uh, I've limited reserves of time, both time and patience, so I recommend you waste none of them, Kitty Garp. I've killed some, ca I've killed some cows. If you're interested in bounties, yes, I'll be glad to pay you for proof of kills. Let's see what you got me. Uh, some, out, all 15 cow tongues. You drop a bag of cow tongues on Barnaby Bob's desk with a loud, wet noise. Loud, wet noise. Hmm. Well, at any rate, there are a few cows that won't be telling you more tales, telling any more tales. Anything else I can get you off your hands today? Well now, I have to fashion myself a necklace of s or something, I suppose. Anything else I can take? All seven brass rings. Clarity piled them on Barnaby Bob's desk. Ah, the shine of gold. Made all shinier by a spite. Well done, Kitty Arp. Anything else I can take you off you? Pull a bunch of cow soul fragments from out of your bag. Barnaby Bob pulls a jar out of his desk to put them in. Well now, this will provide a little merriment in dull times. You've earned yourself some meat, my friend. Ungalif... Oh, my, my, oh my, you've been a little busy beaver, my friend. Anything else I'm going to take off you? Not the cow's eye, because I don't want to sell that yet. Like, at least that's, at least I have, at least I can, like, grind easier now. Woo! Okay, so. Quest is stalled. If you first grill them to bail, use some yourself as per... Okay. So, hmm. As you enter the can tannery, the second thing you notice is that the place has been manned for years, probably since the cows came home. A lot of equipment is wrecked, and all 
all of it is covered in dust. First thing you notice is that there's a bunch of a there's a bunch of, that it's that there are a bunch of rodeo clouds in here fighting with well they aren't cows exactly they're more possessed skin of cows. They're, that's a little strange because you've seen people wearing or for example cow leather chaps and you've never seen anyone being attacked by their chaps. Maybe there's something about tanning process that makes leather impervious possession and these cow ghosts whatever's are untanned hides. In any case, the cows. Eh, the clowns and cows seem preoccupied enough with their fighting that I haven't noticed you yet. You, at least yet. Okay. I can skip through that. I can fight the cows, but... Well, what's the point? Door's locked. How do I get through? Now, how do I get through this? Ooh. Do I have to fight all of these guys to get through? Because that's annoying. Join the fracas. Oh wow, the cows are on my side. What is happening? Why am I... What? The clouds are on my side! What is happening here? That's weird. Oh, now I'm fighting the clowns. Okay. <laughs> this makes a lot more sense. I'm just like, what? Am I fighting? Okay. That was weird. Oh. The clowns aren't really a threat. Ungolith. Well, he's dead. And you can shoot this, and hopefully that last clown will kill this. Wow, you people are useless. You clowns are fucking useless. Do they, like, lose health if I... Like, when I fight them, do they lose health? Because that'd be nice. It's not creepy at all how they're just laughing like that. Guess what? The clowns turn on you after all the... Yeah, that is creepy as fuck. I'm sorry, that's just creepy as fuck. He can't even hit me. I'm too broken, but damn. I... I'm... I'm one of those people that just really don't like clowns. Like... Seriously, I, I'm one of those people that just really do not like clowns. Uh, let's see. Build a crate. It's a crate. I built a crate to open a crate. That seems kind of rhetorical. I don't know why, but that just seems kind of rhetorical. Alright, let's go back and beat up the rest of them. Because there's no point. And not doing it, I guess? Because they probably have something. It's just one clown. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. This is gonna be easy! There's no real point in doing this, but, I mean, it's free shit. Punched a clown when I was like nine. Broke his nose. That's something. Leather shears and a handful of nails. What am I supposed to do with these? Varmint skinning knife. Uh, leather shears. Cutting cow hides. Tannery Saint Rage key. What Saint Rage? I'm... I'm just confused. Unlock it. Oh boy, oh jeez, this is not a good situation. You can quickly hide behind some old tan hides. Huh? Is that what the, Is that why they're called... Is that why they're called that? There are three clowns out here, each armed with nasty looking knives. One of them is licking his knife, and the sound makes you think maybe he's literally sharpening the blade on his tongue. They're facing two stretched hide cows and a monstrous thing that looks like an entire cow skeleton draped in flayed cow skin. I bet you think you've real clip I bet you think I bet you lot think you're real clever breaking through to the human plane. Do you think we wouldn't follow you? Moo! Do you really think you fought do you, really, do you think did you think you found the weapon here to use against us, or just, or are you just trying to escape? Moo! What? You take that back! None of them seems to notice you. Uh, 
Looks like you can sneak through the door if you re sneak back through the door if you're really careful. I mean, there's a hell cow side quest. The cow corrupted. Oh God. Apparently there's something that is called. Apparently there's a. Apparently there's one called Duke Boviscus. Okay, so you see you, the cows and the clowns and cows stop hissing and mooing and posture, posturing at each other. Hey, who the hell are you? Uh, Candygram? Moo. Uh oh, now's your chance. Get him. Uh oh. Got to jump on them. Is that that's a floating cow? That's a floating. Okay. I thought you said there was a floating cow, but apparently not. Alright, let's kill this Ungolith. Now it's just this. And then I have to fight the clowns after this. Which I'm honestly fine with. Because, I mean, clowns aren't even that strong. These clowns are super weak. This is an easy fight for me. Alright, time to beat the clowns. He's apparently the strongest. Oh no, that clown's just as strong. Let's beat you. Susie can't kill you, so I'll just kill you for now. You hurt my Susie Bay, I'll fucking kill you. You hurt my Susie Bay, I'll fucking kill you! I'll kill you anyway, but I mean don't touch my Susie Bay. It's a good thing that clowns hate clowns hate cows more than they hate humans, or the fight could have gone worse. For, fortunately, it seems pretty unlikely that you run into any more anime leather clad cow skeletons on your venture, right? That was supposed to be that? Because it really wasn't. It's too tan to be possessed. What? Uh, hello? Thank God, you're not one of those horrible clowns. I'm Kitty. Kitty Yarp. I'm Grady Tanner. It's a good thing you arrived. I couldn't have held out much longer. Wait, are you a Tanner or... Are you actually Tanner or is that your surname? Well, both. What are you doing here? Hiding. No, I mean, wh what I mean is why are you hiding here? Because I don't want to die. L look, what's your story? Well, I ain't. Well, I'll scavenge your tanning materials. Cow's ba cow's band ain't as easy to get hold of as it was in the de in the old day. But while I was searching, these cows show up, and then cl those clowns show up. So I lock myself in the back here. What's cow's band? It's herb used for tanning leather. You can't grow it in large batches anymore because the cows show up and wreck the place. So uh, th there's other stuff we generally use for pig leather and so on. It's not as good though. Cows wreck your herb garden. Yeah, if you're growing more of the more than about a flower's pot worth to get wind of it. They hate the stuff. Can't figure out why. Here, I got some extra. I got a few extra seeds you can have. Be careful with them. How long have you been in here? Three or four days. I'm starving. Cow's bane's poisonous, so I've been chewing on this old leather hat for sustenance. Seriously? Yep. Wants up? No. Well, I took care of the clowns and cows, so consider yourself rescued. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. As soon as I get my get a new shop set up, you can count on me for any leather goods you need. First ones on the house. So, uh, you want to know where I might be able to set up a shop? What happened to your old shop? Can you guess? Cows? Oh, yep. There's an empty lot in cow dirt water you could probably use. Great. I'll head right. I'll head right there. Thanks a million, partner. Oh, you want? No problem. Build the crate. Open it. Lasso and ranch punch. Okay, so cows bane seed. Okay, so I can grow the cow's bin. Anyway, I think that's enough for today. I, I mean, there's like a tiny bit more for the quest, but I honestly don't want to do it. So, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to call it there once it is time. I have the crown, so I could just give him the crown and then it works, but... Eh, I don't want to. It's probably the thing... Yep, I'll see what I can do. I can just give him the crown. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. I mean, we're pretty much done here. Anyway, that's it for today's video. We're going back. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
we're coming up to the last episode next time. Oh, it might be a super long one, but, I mean, let's buckle in. This is, like, the first thing that I've basically completed. So, I'm excited for this, because this will be the first playthrough that I've done fully until the DLC comes out. In which case, I will I will be back with West of Lovian again. But, oh, man. This has been fun. One thing I could do, though, is... One thing I could do is uh, do the hard hat mo hard mode hat, but no, I really don't want to torture myself. So, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to that like and subscribe button if you did. And I'll be back tomorrow with another daily video. And I'll be back soon with the final video for West of Ove. Getting emotional, guys. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.